all having a fantastic day. So in today's video, we have some very exciting packages to open. <laughs> so I needed to do a restock. A big restock. A refresh. Um, so I ordered some goodies from some of my favourite small businesses and I just thought I would sit down and do an unboxing video for you guys since there is a couple of packages to get through. So yeah, I hope you all enjoy and let's get into it. So let's see what's inside the first package. Okay. These have been sitting for so long that I can't even remember what they are. <laughs> I love this little tissue paper. Okay. Okay, so this is from Bayo's Bunting and they do the cutest hanging toys I have ever seen in my life. And it's safe to say Sandy is in need of a refresh. So I thought I would treat her. So Bayo's Bunting have included this little information card for their subscription box, if any of you guys are interested. They have handmade custom toys sent monthly to your door. Choose each month's color, tailored for every animal, and they say you can join at any time and cancel any time, and you can subscribe on their website. So I'm going to put the, the information for this in my description box below for you all to have a look at if that interests you at all. So I went for this beautiful pink and green collection. I just thought it was so cute. This is probably showing my age here a little bit, but the colors just really reminded me of like the Fimbles, which was what my favorite show when I was a kid. <laughs> but yeah, so I've got a little collection of toys. I've got this one for heart. This one has a little star on it. I've got a little circle. And if I have enough <laughs> in my hands, we have this lovely one with the sticks. It's just how cute. How cute is this? I'm obsessed. I will of course include a close-up of all of these for you guys to see as well. And they have also included some corn kernels and vegetable oil as a little extra treat which is very cute. And of course their business card. So so cute. Yeah I'm really happy with this guys. Hanging toys are the best added enrichment, in my opinion, especially for those female Syrians that get bored super, super quickly. I like to include as much hanging toys as possible. I like to like stuff them with little treats and things for them to try and get out. It's just a really, really fun way for that added enrichment for your hamster. And also just really fun way of adding a pop of colour to you. A more naturalistic enclosure it's just really fun and it just shows your personalities in your enclosures I think I just love them so yeah Bayo's Bump Things is always my go-to and um, they last so long and they come with these little clips that you can clip onto your mesh lids and they're just a really fun addition to any enclosure so yeah check out Bayo's Bump Things on Etsy they are amazing again I'm gonna have everything linked in my description below this video as well for you to check out. So yeah, let's get into the next package. Okay, so the next package is from the Small Paw Store and let's see what I ordered. Okay. So Sandy is struggling to get around um, her enclosure as she starts to age. So I thought I would get more lower dig boxes for her. Her sand bath is quite high. 
um, and her dick boxes are quite high as well so I thought I would make it easier for her if I could have ones lower to the ground so I checked out the small paw store and did just that so of course I had to get the heart shaped dick box I have this already in Neville's enclosure and he loves it so I had to get one for Sandy this is perfect for adding some substrate. It's not that high, so when Sandy is starting to eat and she's struggling to get a bite and climb to higher surfaces, this is not that hard for her to get into. So it is the perfect addition to any enclosure, especially if you are thinking about ways to make your enclosure more accessible as your hamster ages and starts to slow down. I think this is perfect. So yeah. I'm very, very happy to have another one of these. <laughs> and I also ordered a new Samba, which I'm really, really excited about. It's in this beautiful pink color. This side. And I am just honestly so obsessed with this. Just look at that guys oh my gosh it is even more beautiful in person i am literally in awe this is so cute the small paw store have these little sand baths that come in a range of colors i got the baby pink one obviously but they have baby blues, they have sage greens, honestly, whatever colour you like, they can probably do it. <laughs> but yeah, the quality of this is literally insane. I'm obsessed. Just look at that, guys. Again, I will include close-ups for everything in this video at the end for you all to see. But yeah, I am super, super happy with this sand bath and I think Sandy is going to love it. <laughs> And I also got a little duster as well, again in pink, of course. And this is just perfect for those little spot cleans. And I just think it's really handy to have. I lost the one I used to have. So whenever I seen that they sold these, I instantly added it to my box but yeah this is just an essential for all hamster owners for those weekly spot cleans in the middle when sandy knocks over her substrate and things like that just a little sweep up and you're good to go an absolute essential and it doesn't hurt that it's really cute as well it goes with my aesthetic <laughs> i love it <laughs> and finally i also ordered a little water bowl as well because oh, I am considering getting another hamster in the near future and it's just always handy to have a spur water bowl because you just never know but yeah it's just a little simple bowl it's like a little tea highlight holder it's just really cute um again just another essential item just to add to my stock and yeah so that is my oh almost dropped it <laughs> That is my box from the small paw store. Um, yeah, I'm very happy with everything as per usual because they are amazing. <laughs> Let's put this box aside. And the final box, the biggest one, is from Hamsters We Love and it is my restock on my spreads. Let's see what's in here. <laughs> has a really cute little packaging and it says thank you for supporting my small business how cute is that oh my gosh they added a cute little freebie obviously i ordered this a while ago and just didn't film so we have a little christmas goodie bag in here <laughs> let me see what's inside oh my gosh it's so cute I've got these little hamster sticky notes I'm definitely bringing these into work oh my gosh and um, let's see what else I don't know what this could be Okay. 
It's some form of treat mix. There's little rice pots and some dried strawberries in here. Super cute. Put that to the side so it doesn't spill. And um, we also have this little wooden Christmas tree. I'm definitely going to keep that aside for next year. And last but not least, there's a little reindeer sticker. So that is super cute. It's just such a lovely little added gift because I did place quite a big order as per usual. I always leave my restock till the very last second and then I have to buy everything at once. Um, but yeah, no, thank you so much for adding those extra goodies. That's why I love shopping with small businesses, guys, because they just go the extra mile. And it's just, you just always know that your order is just so appreciated. And I just love supporting small businesses as much as I can. So let's have a look. So they have added some little stickers. There's a little hamster. This one says Merry Christmas. Um, there's a little Christmas tree and a little Christmas house. That is so cute. Probably should have ordered this. <laughs> Not ordered. Pro I probably should have opened this a lot earlier. It has been sitting for quite a while. <laughs> and right here, it's packaged really, really nicely. I'm gonna open this up. We have a little water bowl again, and it's filled with some monkey nuts. That is super cute. Okay, and we have the business card. It says, thank you for your order. And it has all of their socials as well. Super cute. Okay, so this package is some porridge. It is red clover. Oh, these look really cool. I need to like remember what I ordered. Some of these packages aren't labeled. Um, let's see. But they're just these little wooden shoes, wooden pieces. Ooh. How cool are they? The hamsters are going to love these and they just add that more naturalistic feel to the enclosure they're going to go insane again i will include the item details all in the description box below because some of these aren't labeled i can't remember the exact names of these and um, so if you want to find out exactly what everything is just check the description in at the end of the video See if I can put this back in. <laughs> the struggle is real, guys. The struggle is real. Okay, we got it. Woo! <laughs> okay, and we have another packet of those as well. Um, oh, we have more stickers. We have a little hamster. Got a couple of hamster ones. These are so cute. And we have a little gingerbread man. I love stickers. Okay, so we have a packet of green amaranth. Love that. I just, it, again, just a nice pop of colour to the enclosure. Look at that. The quality is insane. I am so bad at pronouncing the names of certain spreads, so I'm just going to pop them on the screen for you guys. But just look at that. Oh. How beautiful. Love it. We also have some more. And we have some, a big packet of sorghum. This is Sandy's favorites the quality is insane i don't want to open any of these because the seeds are just going to fall all over the place <laughs> so we're not doing that <laughs> um, and we have some red millet 
and also regular Mila as well. So good. There's so much on these stems. Millet is Neville's favourite spray, so he's going to be a very happy boy. <laughs> okay. Oh, these are beautiful. I'm going to take these out of the packet because the stem on this. Okay. Can you guys see? how the, the little twisty stem look at the size of that oh my god it's like a tree this is literally like a tree <laughs> oh my gosh guys i can't wait to put these in the enclosure sandy is due a refresh very soon so i will film a video for you guys using these sprays in her setup and of course, a big old packet of flax because every hamster devours these. I have not had a single hamster that hasn't finished the, all their flax in the space of like 24 hours. <laughs> so like, for example, I can see one right here. There is a nice empty flax in Neville's enclosure. Here's another one. <laughs> and it just looks like there's been some form of a forest fire and all of his spreads that used to be all pretty like this just look like twigs. <laughs> but you need to use their favorite spreads in moderation because if they're constantly eating, that means they're overeating. So if you find a spray that they eat really, really quickly, don't instantly replace that one because then they're just going to keep eating it and eating it and eating it. Um, and we don't want an obese hamster. So yeah, flax is used in extreme moderation because both of my hammies devour them in like 24 hours. It's insane. And these are also always hamsters we love always <laughs> and they have included this nice little freebie of some treats it's like a little seed mix it has pumpkin seeds in it there's some rice puffs there's some sunflower seeds i can see some petals in there some marigolds i'm gonna give this to sandy because sandy goes insane for like literally all of the above but yeah guys i'm gonna put that in there that is my little unboxing video for you all. I have fully restocked and yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. I'm going to insert the clips here of the close up of everything for you all. for another video i hope you all have a fantastic day and until next time bye